my goodness, the best. <music>
Now we're gonna make the dipping sauce, the tempura sauce, this one, the one I showed you earlier, but I mean uh, before, but this is a little bit, uh, get a little bit stronger, so we're gonna make it lighter. Come follow me, let's go. There's a tempura sauce. It's a, like I said, it's too heavy for me, too strong, and then it's too salty for me, so it's the only way you could make it, because tempura sauce has to be a little bit lighter when it comes to the tempura shrimp and butter, because this, it's a butter oil. When you put a butter, it's kind of sweet and this one's a little strong and it doesn't taste right. So now we're just gonna make the tempura, heat it up a little bit, make it boil and then, then we pour. Make sure there's always grated ginger and daikon in there. That's gonna make a lot of difference, the flavor. So as the sauce is done, now we have to pour it. That's a perfect dipping sauce for that. All right, ready to rock and roll. All right, this is my final touch of my uh, tempura shrimp combination with the vegetables, with the shrimp, eggplant, and a sweet potato. And of course, the string beans. It's crispy and perfectly buttered with a tempura butter. Let's try it. I hope you like my Japanese tempura. Please like and subscribe. And make sure you leave a comment, good or bad. I'll take it. Have a good night.